Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now I just do want to say a couple of things before I start on with this video. So first of all, as you would have known if you look at my main page, my main page of channel, my channel basically, um, recently, you would have seen when I update my feed, I have said I've not been very well lately. I've had a cold, well I still have a cold. Um, I literally feel like death warmed up, no jokes. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna ramble. So basically, I just want to apologise for three things that might occur in this video that are not to do with makeup. A, if I start having a coughing fit and die. B, my nose is so stiffly it might annoy you, I apologise for that. And C, my voice goes all crazy because I did lose my voice temporarily. It was really, really croaky and it hurt to talk. And it has sort of come back obviously as I'm filming this video. But uh, it's a bit croaky sometimes. Um... So yeah, I do apologise for that, but this video is going to cheer me well up because it is one video that I don't think I've ever done. You're going to have to remind me in the comments by looking through my channel. Um, because I've been watching a lot of Zoella and a lot of other YouTubers that do monthly favourites. And I have never done, in my, in my mind, I can't think I've done any, I've never done a monthly favourite. So I wanted to do a monthly favourite. So in this really sexy home base bag you know who doesn't want a home base bag i have got all my monthly favorites now some of these things you would have seen before in lots of videos whether it be a haul whether it be a tutorial whether it be top 10 beauty products current favorites whatever a lot of these products you might have seen before some of them you haven't because i've chopped and changed during the month of october and because it's very autumnal this month autumnal do you love that word thank you zoe zoe suck for giving me that word in my new makeup beauty dictionary it's been very autumnal this month like autumn colors because it's october and obviously halloween and i do want to apologize i know i've had a couple of people go oh could you do a halloween makeup tutorial i'm afraid i'm not going to this year because i don't really know any cool scary looks i don't really have any face paint i don't really have anything so, and i've been feeling really really bored lately so i promise i will try and do one next year i will try to do a nice christmas look tutorial near the time so yeah but i do hope you enjoy this video i don't bore you too long and i'm gonna stop because it's at two minutes 37 and this is a very long introduction so i'm gonna get in i'm gonna start with one thing that is makeup related but it's the only one of its sort that i've got in my favorites it's my clarins makeup bag as you know i featured this in my haul of luxury gifts I was given so you all know what it looks like and I just lo I've been loving it this month I've loved it since I got it but I've especially been loving it in October because I've been using it a lot I've been putting it in my handbag I just it's just a perfect size in my opinion and it is definitely a favorite because I've been using it a hell of a lot I do love that unless that was a gift I don't know whether you can still get it so I do apologize for that and another thing I apologize for I'm apologizing a lot in this video is that there's going to be an obnoxious sort of rustling because it's all in the bag so I do apologize for that I've then got a few of these I just need to find the other one ah there it is right as you know I love using makeup brushes to apply my makeup and these are just a few these are only three of my makeup brushes because obviously i've got quite a few um but these are three of my favorites so i've got my primark pl the <sighs> my primark blusher brush bit of a mouthful which is one pound fifty it's like got so it's sort of like as if it's been dipped in pink paint or whatever or whatever it is to turn it pink so i think it's really pretty but all of their brushes have the pink um, so that's 150 and I love this because it just fits on my apples on my cheeks really well and I'm just going to do this for your viewing pleasure my blusher contour bl bronzer highlighter face for your viewing pleasure I'm probably going to see that screenshotted on Instagram or Facebook but yeah it's it's funny it's hilarious anyway so yeah that's 150 and I do love that so if you want a cheap but good makeup brush I totally recommend you go and check in your local Primark. I've then got another Primark brush which is rather dirty 
This is a powder foundation brush. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to use it for a, pow as for a powder foundation as I don't own any powder foundation. And I wanted to be a brush rebel. So I use this for bronzer. This might be the weirdest shape, but for me, I find it perfect. And I also use it to blend in the rest of my makeup because it just makes it look a bit more natural. So I do my special fish face. I'll just go. Basically put bronzer where the sun would naturally hit you hit my skin um and then this is my poundland brush obviously it's a pound at the moment they don't seem to be having these in which is a big disappointment because i need another one this is their angled blusher brush but i use it for pressed powder i did have one of these that i actually used for blusher but it got wrecked it got like this lipsticky mess on it so i don't know how that happened but i have been loving this because it's just because it's angled for my pressed powder i find it's perfect for my t-zone i'm just gonna get all my makeup on it now but never mind it's a makeup brush so it's perfect for my t-zone and it's perfect for just yeah yeah so that is obviously a pound so they're really cheap as you know i don't really go for expensive makeup brushes so i totally recommend these i've washed these countless amount of times none of the hairs fall out so i totally recommend those on to makeup i have got a couple of things now i know you all know that I do love my Iconic 3 palette, but I have been reintroducing myself to other palettes that I've had for longer. So I have got that. I will not get rid of it. I love it. It's in my beauty box, but I'm not going to... I've used it a couple of times, but there's other palettes that I know that I love, and I've been using a lot in autumn. So it's this... You can't really see it because it's, like, sort of rubbed off. It's this Sunkissed Eye Palette and Bronzer Everyday Glamour. This is from Primark, and it's super-duper beautiful it's beautiful it's true so i do love that it creates some lovely autumnal looks and i do love that for my eyes this is three pounds from primark still available in the, my local primark so i definitely recommend that i've then got my w7 hollywood bronze and glow contour kit you know how much i love this this is a legendary purchase w7 is a fan favorite of mine anyway but I love this so, so much. It just creates a great look on the cheeks. The bronze is super pigmented. It's just amazing. And the stay is fantastic. So I definitely recommend you pick that up off Amazon. I've then got two mascaras. One of them I know I've said I've had a, I have a love-hate relationship with. I understand that. It's my W7 Eyelash Mascara. But at the moment, I am having the love part of the relationship. So I definitely thought I had to feature that in my favourites. So that's available at Amazon. Now I've got my natural collection Water Guard Black Mascara. I did sort of, I loved this for such a long time, then I sort of put it in my makeup collection and thought, now nah, I'll try some others. Hence why this became a love hate. But I'm wearing it today. I've worn it for a couple of days and a lot in the October month. And I've grown to love it again. It's just amazing. Okay, so I've got that and I just love that so much. I've then got my all-time favourite blusher, which is broken. I dropped it. <laughs> it's the English Rose Mosaic Blusher by MUA. £2.50 from Superdrug. I absolutely love this. It's such a soft, natural, cute little look. And it's just so natural and lovely. Love that, even though it's broken. So I do love that. And then I've got another blusher, which I have halfway through October, I began to love. It's my Primark Coral Shimmer Blusher thing. I got this in Gunmorph Keys. It's absolutely lovely. I got a fuchsia pink one as well. I don't know whether I'd use that. But I'm wearing this today. It gives my cheeks such a natural glow. And that's only like £2.50 or something like that. So I do recommend that. I've then got my Makeup Gallery Translucent One Powder. As you can see, I don't know whether you can see. Yeah, there we go. It's got a big fat dip in it. But it has still not yet hit pan. It gives a shine free finish it says on the back and I totally agree with it. It's only a pound from Poundland and you know how much I rate makeup gallery so I completely love this all year round but especially in October because it can be hot but it can be cold as well in October you know but I love this because it keeps my makeup in place and I love it. I don't think I've got many more makeup products. No I've only got one more which is my L'Oreal Paris collection exclusive by JLo, JLo's Nude. I have loved this lipstick for a long time, but I once again would like with my natural collection mascara, I left it in my makeup box, well, my makeup collection, I forgot about it, 
I've rekindled my love for it. So I totally recommend you go picking one of these up. They're $6.99 from Boots or Superdrug. So not too pricey at all. So yeah, I love that a lot because it just goes with so many eyeshadows. And then I've got one thing that I guess is class as makeup, I don't know, beauty, is my makeup gallery Time to Shine Quick Dry Nail Colour in Copper Kiss 7. As you can probably see, my nails are a bit ugh, but that's because the other day I had one of those days where I just felt quite down, and for no particular reason, and I just picked up my nails. But if I hadn't have done that, my nails would have still been in perfect condition. Ugh. But this is such a lovely colour, so if you can see, if you find it in your local Poundland, I totally recommend it. It's such a lovely colour. The stay is amazing. The colour is absolutely incredible. I cannot express. So I do love that. And then quickly moving on, I've got my W uh, W7 number seven beautiful skin day cream. I've been loving this lately. I'll put a picture on my Instagram, but it smells so nice. And it just it's a day cream, so I put it on in the morning, every morning, and it just amazing. It super makes my skin super soft, and I love it. So I totally recommend that. I've then got two simple products. I've got my Kind to Eyes Revitalizing Eye Roll On and my Kind to Skin Pore Minimizing Toning Cleanser. As you know, I rate simple so, so much. I absolutely love these products. This is great in the mornings and in the evenings, I guess, to roll under your eyes, make them look a bit more awake. And this is just great for your pores because it minimizes your pores. And I tend to have, it depends. Sometimes I can have quite big pores. Sometimes I can have quite small pores. It really, really depends. But I absolutely love these. I totally rate them at the moment, super drug in my local area anyway, are having a massive reduction on Simple. I've then got two things because obviously I haven't been feeling very well, um, and as you know I did have chap lips, so this first thing is because I haven't been feeling very well, it's Sainsbury's version of Vic Vapor Rub, and this has got eucalyptus I believe, yeah eucalyptus, and you put this under your nose, if you've got a bunged up nose, and on your chest, and it just, you do this at night, and it's just an easy way of trying to unblock your nose, and in the, this morning, I woke up and my nose wasn't too bad, so I do love this, I totally recommend you going to pick it up, oh, even a sniff of it from the pot makes my nose feel a bit better, and that sounds really weird, but it is really good, because I had chapped lips this month, lip therapy, Vaseline, cocoa butter one, I just love this, as you can see I've used a hell of a lot, um, I've got the original one that's got the green tin, I've got like the pink tin one that's like a tint to your lips and then I've got this one, I do prefer this one, it makes a world of difference. I've then obviously got my super drug lip, lip balm, this is really good but I use this normally as a base for my lipstick as this actually makes a difference to my lips and actually sorts out my chap, but I do love that, that's like 99p from super drug. I've then got one body spray as it were, it's the Body Shop White Musk, I absolutely love this, it's got such a oh, natural smell and this somehow reminds me of my childhood, don't ask me why, it's one of those things that I smell and I thought that reminds me of something, I don't know what, but I absolutely love this, it's like £7 from the Body Shop, they do not test on animals, which is another reason why I love the Body Shop to death, hence why lots of my Christmas presents that I'm asking for will be from the Body Shop, love it. That's definitely been a favourite this month. Second to last thing is my I Love Mango and Papaya hand cream. This is the only product from the I Love range, other than the spritzers, that I felt actually keeps the smell on your body. This makes my hands so silky soft, and some people watching this will know this because I've let them borrow it. And I personally love this. This is two ninety nine from Superdrug, and I totally recommend it. The smell is freaking awesome, people. Love it. Love it. I've then got, last of all, is my Tangle Teaser. This is the blue one. You can sort of see my hair there. A bit gross. But this is absolutely amazing. It doesn't tug at all, and I love it. This is like, I don't know how much it is. They're quite pricey. This was a gift, so I didn't pay for it. But I totally recommend them. Boots, I believe they're sold as Superdrug, I think. They're widely available in salons and stuff like that. They're really good. They work especially well with, like, Hair that gets really knotty, but obviously when you've got wet hair, maybe from going swimming, the shower, whatever, this is really good. So I totally recommend this, and this has been a lifesaver this month. So at 14 minutes 17, I've got to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.